I will welcome into this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial, hashtag PSN30, brought to you by tutvid.com, where we try to cover all the tools and features and all the everything in Photoshop in about 30 seconds. It's usually more like three or four minutes. And today, we're up to the sponge tool, which you can find located beneath the dodge and burn tools. Now, the sponge tool is a very simple tool, but if there was a list of tools that I never used in Photoshop, the sponge tool would be on that list. Now, just like any other brush tool in Photoshop, you can adjust size, hardness, get a custom brush, do whatever you want brush-wise. I'm using just a 500 pixel soft edge brush. You have two modes here, desaturate and saturate, and that's exactly what this tool does. It's very simple. You either paint in saturation or suck color out. So you're either pumping color in with saturate or sucking color out with desaturate. Uh, you can quickly switch between these two modes of the tool by hitting shift plus, right? And just go back and forth as you're using the tool. Uh, you can adjust the flow, which is the intensity at which you're either pumping saturation in or extracting color via desaturate. And vibrance, I usually keep this checked on, or I should say I would usually keep this checked on if I were to use this tool um, because vibrance just generally deals with colors a little bit better in Photoshop. I guess there is the odd uh, moment when I would use saturate and it, it, it would just affect the technically speaking saturation value of the image rather than technically the vibrance <laughs> value of the image, whatever, right? Um, I mean, it is, there is a difference, but it's it's not really going to come into play here for what we're doing. And by the way, before I paint with this tool, which obviously you can see I can just paint color right in, you're not going to want to use desaturate here to convert your image to a black and white. I can give you a quick tip on the way out the door how to do that. What we can do, though, is get rid of that blue haze on that mountain there. Um, now, obviously, that's probably a little bit too intense, so if we were to do it over, we would just adjust the flow, make it a little bit less, maybe more like 25. I'm going to go back to saturation mode though and I'm going to pump some saturation into the trees here in this valley right across this little brook on the side of this hill. Great. Maybe add some blue to the sky or just pump up the blue that is currently in the sky maybe is a better way to think about it. So you can see um, if we go back to the way the image was, that's how it was, and that's what we've done to it after the sponge tool. So a very simple tool, it goes in, it's quick, it's dirty, it's very destructive, right? We're just painting right on that layer. Um, but, you know, it's the sponge tool. Not a tool that I would use, maybe a tool that you'll find a use for, but the sponge tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.